lesson this week takes a look at proof that Jesus was risen from the grave. We find here in our lesson this week, the disciples, the remaining 11. Well, we don't know if all 11 were here at this occasion. Well, we know for a fact that Thomas wasn't here, but we don't know if Peter was here. And, and I go into the reason as to why we don't know whether or not Peter was there in the fuller commentary of our Sunday School lesson for this week that you can find at newfoundfaith.org. I put the link to our lesson, the commentary of this week's lesson, I put it in the description below. So if you want to take a deeper dive into our Sunday School lesson this week, certainly look at the description below and go to the fuller commentary website link there. Now, here at this appearance, the disciples, we have to try to put ourselves into their mindset. The disciples, after Jesus was arrested in the garden, scripture tells us that all of them scattered, all of them ran away. Only Peter and John tried to come back and follow Jesus while he was under trial. But again, we know that Peter, we know that he denied Jesus three times. And after denying Jesus three times, Peter, he left. He didn't come back. Peter wasn't there at the cross with, where John was there at the cross with the women. Peter, he wasn't there. He wasn't there to witness Jesus dying on the cross. He wasn't even there to witness where Jesus was buried. John, he was there. And as we saw in our Sunday school lesson last week, where John, when he went into the tomb and he saw how Jesus' clothes was just lying there and how the handkerchief was folded up, John, we were told, believe. But again, many of the disciples, they were questioning. They were hesitant to believe in the resurrection of Jesus. Most of them, I would say, they were lost. They didn't know what to think. They didn't know what to believe. And we can get a picture. We can imagine uh, this setting here. John said that the door to the room that they were in was closed. It was shut. There was no way in, no way out, outside of going through that door. And so they sat in this closed off room, probably lost in thought, questioning, wondering whether or not Jesus was really resurrected from the grave. Because there were many who were announcing, who were coming and letting them know they have seen the resurrected Jesus Christ. Mary Magdalene was one of them. There were two who was on their way to the village of Emmaus who walked with Jesus and they came to let the disciples know, hey, we were there, we witnessed the post-resurrected Jesus. And so the disciples, they were in a mindset to where they were again hesitant, questioning whether or not Jesus was really resurrected from the grave. when. While they were discussing whether or not Jesus was really resurrected from the grave, Jesus appeared before them and he said, peace unto you. There's a reason why Jesus had to say peace unto them because when Jesus appeared before them, they didn't know what to think. They didn't know whether or not Jesus was really there. They may have thought even that Jesus was a ghost as well. And so Jesus appeared before them saying, peace unto you. He even questioned, why are you troubled? Why are you hesitant to believe in the resurrection? Again, as we saw in our Sunday school lesson last week, John mentioned that they did not know scripture. They didn't remember that Jesus had foretold his death, that he had foretold his resurrection as well. And so here at this appearance, we see where Jesus essentially has to prove that he was no ghost. He had to prove that he wasn't dead. He had to prove to his own disciples, the closest ones that followed him. He had to prove that he indeed was resurrected from the grave. How did he do this? Well, scripture tells us that he allowed him, the disciples to handle him. He showed them where he had been nailed to the cross. They were able to feel on him. They were able to touch on Jesus as well. And when they were still doubting, when they were still hesitant to believe in the resurrection, Jesus said, hey, I'll show you that I'm not dead. I will show you that I am not no ghost. Do you have anything here that I can eat? And so the disciples being fishermen, they went and got some fish that they had brawled and, and they, they had brought a piece of honeycomb to Jesus as well. And Jesus, he sat and took it and he, he ate it up in front of them to prove that, that he wasn't dead, to prove that he wasn't no ghost, to prove that he really did rise from the grave and that he really was 
standing before them as well. I go into the post-resurrected body of Jesus Christ in my Bible study, the transfiguration of Jesus Christ. So if you want more detail on the post-resurrected body of Jesus Christ, certainly head over to that Bible study where I take a deep dive into the post-resurrected body of Jesus Christ. Now, after trying to prove that he really was standing before them, we find that Jesus, he brought clarity to the disciples who again, they did not really understand all that was going on. Where again, Jesus had foretold his death, he had foretold his resurrection. We find here at this moment where he was risen from the grave, where Jesus, he took time to give them clarity, to explain all the, how he had to suffer, how he had to die on the cross, and how he rose again. He gave them the meaning, the purpose behind all that he had done. As he said to Peter before his crucifixion, Peter, when Jesus went to wash his feet, was saying, hey, what are you doing? Jesus said to him, you don't know what I'm doing now, but you will understand afterwards. And we find here afterwards where Jesus explains to the disciples again, his crucifixion and his resurrection. And again, he said to them, hey, don't worry. You may not understand fully what I'm saying to you right here in this moment, but I'm going to send to you the promise of my father. The promise of the father was the Holy Spirit, who Jesus also had explained to the disciples that would come to them after his ascension, after he returned back to the father. The Holy Spirit would come to them, Jesus said, and would lead them unto all truth. The Holy Spirit is the helper, who Jesus said is the spirit of truth, who calls to our remembrance today, all the things that Jesus taught us through the word. We have his word written down for us in scripture today. And the Holy Spirit calls to our remembrance, just as he did for the disciples again, all truth. The Holy Spirit led the disciples unto further understanding of the crucifixion and the resurrection of Christ. And we today, we stand in the word essentially of the disciples. They were eyewitnesses, as Jesus said, to the majesty of Christ. Our faith today is built on the foundation of the death and the resurrection, essentially the eyewitness report of the disciples. It stands our faith on the foundation that Jesus proved that he really was indeed risen from the grave. So again, we should stand in great appreciation of what Jesus did, improving his resurrection. And we should today stand in appreciation that the disciples actually believed in what they witnessed. So here today, again, is our Sunday school lesson where Jesus proves indeed that he was risen from the grave. What did we learn in our Sunday school lesson today? Well, we learn again that he is risen. And we learned today that the disciples actually questioned. They were hesitant to believe that Jesus was risen from the grave. They were doubting the reports that was coming in from people like Mary Magdalene, who had witnessed the post-resurrected Jesus Christ. And so we also learned that Jesus needed to appear before the disciples to give them hope where they had lost hope, to allow them to believe that he indeed was resurrected from the grave. And again, we learn here today that Jesus needed to appear before the disciples because they would be the ones who would go out and would minister the good news, letting the world know that Jesus died and that he rose again for them. Jesus died and he rose for all of us to find forgiveness, mercy, and to obtain salvation as well. All right. So that is our lesson this week. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. I hope that you will share this lesson with someone somewhere. And I hope that you'll come back for our Sunday school lesson next week, where we take a look at the bread of heaven. The bread of heaven is Jesus Christ. Until that time again, I ask all of you to continue to keep all people lifted up in prayer. You never know what anyone is going through. So let us all be prayerful. And as a child of God, let us also go out in love. That is what God has called us to do to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. I'll be doing the same. Until next time, I'll continue to keep all of you lifted up in my prayers. And I'll pray that the Lord continues to keep and to bless all of you.